Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Whips. I'm Lance. Today is Sunday. So we are opening up football cards and today we it's the first Sunday of the month. We got the Boombox Platinum. I went with the Platinum level this month. I've been going to, I did the Elite the last two months, but the Elite. So the way these Boomboxes work, if you are not familiar with them, is they're, they've recently gone up in price. And they have the Boombox, which is their lowest level, which is $55. The high-end Boombox, which is $89. And then they have the Platinum, which is $139. And they also have the Elite, which is like $259. So it's quite a big step up from the Elite to the, or from the Platinum to the Elite. And I didn't really feel like the packs were worth it in the Elite. I mean, there were some nice packs. I just personally didn't feel it was worthy because I'm not a big Contenders fan. I mean, there's some awesome odds in there. They have a Contenders pack, which is one out of, you know, every pack has a hit. They had Chronicles in the Elite, which is one out of every two packs. And then they have Score which is a 40% chance of pulling an auto out of the, one of their packs. So, so it's definitely some good stuff in there, but I went with a platinum level. I think this has some good stuff in there too. It's got some, well, we'll just get into it and see what we can find. Hope everybody's had a great weekend so far and had your weekend continues to be awesome. Recent news. So Julio, so Aaron Rodgers is still a Packer. We'll see how that works out this week with OTAs. And then, uh, Julio Jones is now a Titan. Got traded this morning. We'll see, though. He had a hamstring injury all last year, so we'll see if he passes his physical if that gets all finalized. Uh, just tells you something about what the NFL players think about uh, Tannehill, though. I'm surprised that someone he was talking about wanting to go to a big arm quarterback and he ended up going to Tan Ryan Tannehill. How far, how high Tannehill's climbed in the last few years. So here we go. June's Platinum Football Boom Box. We get 2021 score. 2021 Legacy, 2020 Mosaic. That was probably the big reason I bought this because I really like Mosaic. T-Mall Elite. I haven't never opened up T-Mall Elite, so that's kind of cool. And then they have this Breeze ticket promo for the helmet. Oh, and bonus 15% will also get a pack of 2020 Optic Hobby. So I didn't know that. That would be a that would be a nice bonus. That's a $55 pack right there. So let's see what we got. So we got our one touch, we got a 20 point magnetic, we got 2015 tops chrome, 2021 score, there's the no huddle mosaic, there's the elite T-Mall, we got prestige 14, and the legacy. So we did not get one of the optic packs. So we'll go ahead and get into it. We'll start off with this 2014 prestige, as always, always looking for the Aaron Donalds rookie cards. I think Jimmy Garoppolo will have a good year, though. He's in here as well. There's a Russell Wilson. Here's our draft pick, Jordan Matthews. Timmy Jernigan. Emmanuel Sanders. C.J. Spiller and Paul Kozunski. So not anything much in that pack. 2015 Topps Chrome. Jameis Winston on the front. Let's see if he gets that starting job in the Saints and how he does with that. Could be a good, re big revival for him. A la Ryan Tannehill. We'll see how it works out for him. Andrew Luck. There's a Melvin Gordon super rookie. That would have been a nice card back then. And an Ambir Abdullah. Still a really sweet looking card. Throwback to, what, 89 design? Yep, 89. Moving on to the score. I didn't buy any hobby boxes to score. I was going to want to get the hobby hybrid, but they're $130 a box. It's just not worth it because it's 100 cards. With no guaranteed autos, you can buy it for $300, or a little over $300. You can get a score hobby box with 400 cards and four guaranteed autos. The hobby hybrid, I mean, I know it has more numbered parallels, but that doesn't, that doesn't seem to add up. Let's hope we get one of the big rookie autographs, though. We need something. We haven't got much of anything. Here's a Brett Favre throwback card. That's kind of cool. I like how the kind of arty there. Do you know they did that with some of those cards? That was first, That's the first one I've seen like that, or noticed, anyways. There's the backs of them. Austin Hooper, John Elway. So, yeah, that's just a different. Not sure what's going on with the Brett Favre. Different looking. There's a Daryl Henderson. <clears throat> Jerry Rice. There's a Justin Herbert. T.Y. Hilton. Scorecard. Celebrations. Hot rookies. Najee Harris. There's a Tom Brady, one of his 573rd. So that's pretty cool because these are one per box. So we got the passing career passing touchdown card out of the box. Or not. Micah Parsons. 
Devontae Smith, Elijah Mitchell. So not much in this pack either. None of the top big rookies is Dan Reno. I think we got the same thing going on as the uh, Brett Favre there. Ouch, so we're not doing too well so far. I guess I messed up. Moving on to the Mosaic. So just stick with the Elite. And there's a Jimmy Garoppolo. Kyle Rudolph. Really like these cards. Mike Allstott. Andre Johnson. Alan Robinson, the third, second. Marvin Ingram, the second. A Deshaun Watson Pro Bowl. And a Javon Kinlaw. So nothing in that pack either. We're down to our last two packs, and we haven't hit anything. Sometimes it works out that way, though. We've had some pretty good luck with the Boombox Football Edition. And I guess I changed my luck, so. There's Calvin Ridley, so he should get a lot more looks. DeAndre Hopkins, or hopefully, we'll see what happens. There's a Jared Goff, numbered out of 399, one of their exclusive parallels. I guess we'll put that up there. Aaron Rodgers and an Odell Beckham Jr., the thing about Elite is it's so hard to hit any of the rookies. So our last pack, we have one numbered card out of this box. So we get something nice out of here. James Harrison. The Michael Perrine. Lamar Jackson. David Johnson. Also, it looks like we did get an auto. Numbered out of 100. Carlos Basham Jr. It's cool looking. Got a Wake Forest. Not sure where he went. We'll take it. Since we didn't really, there's a Watt Brothers, Generations, JJ and TJ Watt, Jared Patterson, and a Tylen Wallace. So there you go. I'm just going to stick with those top two. I don't think there's really any need to try to dig through here and find five cards for the top five because there just wasn't, wasn't much there. That's how it sometimes works sometimes. We did get an autograph out of the box, so we did get a boom, I guess, out of the boom box. As always, let me know if you, if you who would you put in your top five if you had to pick top five. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time.